dispute in a McDonald's drive through led a local woman in jail after workers say that woman loaded a handgun in a threatening manner. And get this, the argument was allegedly all over a cookie. Well, she's Dave McDaniel gives us a closer look at this incident and the serious charges she is now facing. It was just before noon Thursday at this McDonald's on State Road 434 near 436. There is an allegation of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon without the intent to kill. 24-year-old Amari Hendricks, a fast food manager herself, it turns out, went before a judge Friday afternoon. Police say an upset Hendricks thought she was entitled to a free cookie. Next thing McDonald's workers see is that Hendricks allegedly has a handgun um, while she's in the drive through. So they call 911. The report says a worker sees Hendricks insert a magazine into the handgun and rack the slide. Then hears clicking sounds associated with someone chambering around. The employees that were there, the drive through were in fear. I mean, you can only imagine. I mean, it's, it's a handgun. It put anyone uh, most likely in fear. In fact, one worker stated she was in fear for her life. The report says Hendricks did point the firearm towards the drive through window, one worker saying he could see down the barrel of the firearm. Initially brought to the Seminole County Jail being held without bond, the judge did set bonds this afternoon totaling just over $30,000, telling Hendricks that if she's released, there would be other conditions. And you are to possess no firearms or ammunition as a condition of your release. Police say Hendricks drove out of the drive through parked and walked to the door. A worker tried to lock her out, but failed, according to police. Ends up making contact with one of the employees and gets into physical altercation. Uh, thankfully, the employees, the employee, all employees are okay. Okay, but the report says a worker did have scratches on his face and neck. In Aldemont Springs, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. Hendricks was pulled over a block from the scene, and according to that report, a loaded gun found on the driver's side floorboards. She's also now prohibited by the court from returning to that McDonald's.